Documentary and feature film about the homeless crisis. It was produced in Placer County. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf shows us the Roseville shelter helping with the project and what the film hopes to achieve. Hi. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? Sally Forcier is producing a feature film called No Address, a fictional story about homelessness. The film itself is really based on humanizing homelessness and the in the struggles they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. It's being produced in conjunction with a documentary about the same thing. Both are the brainchild of Robert Craig Films. Crews have traveled the country talking with those living on the streets, national experts, and others living and working at the Gathering Inn, which serves 900 homeless in Placer County each year. They'll offer mental health uh, treatment, um, addiction recovery, um, case management to access mainstream benefits, life skills training, uh, preparation for jobs. CEO Keith Diederich teaming up with Forcier to show the complexities of homelessness. Giving us feedback on what the script should represent in authenticity and being very transparent of what uh, actually goes on on the streets and how these folks survive. Both projects hope to show how homelessness can affect anybody. People come into homelessness in a variety of different ways. Maybe they lose their job, mental health issues, addiction issues. Probation status. You got it, Tim? Yeah. All right. Nobody knows that better than Kimberly Heberlin. She became homeless in 2018 with two young children. I loaned out money I didn't have to loan out out of my savings. I lost the job within the same vicinity of that time frame and we ended up in our car in the middle of winter. She says the gathering in helped turn her life around. Here, the first thing they helped me with is feeling safe. Now she's giving back. There it is, gentlemen. Working at their weekly clothes closet. Brian, you just want to mess with the shirts behind us over there? Trying to get others to plug into the program. Where you can start over again and make better choices, different choices. Hoping the film sparks community interest and community donations. Feedback so far has energized everyone. I want to say we have put out 93 submissions to film festivals for our screenplay, No Address and we've already had at least 36 best screenplay wins. Well, if you want to watch it, the release date is at the end of next year.